One of the things that a lot of people seem to struggle with is joining mono to braid. And now they're in this braid era and a lot of people are using it for so many different forms of fishing, it is crucial that you know how to do this. Now there's plenty of knots out there, but one knot that I just love because it's so simple to tie, I can get a lure back in the water quickly, is the Slim Beauty. This knot, don't bag it. I've actually caught world record fish on this little baby and it is so quick, it means you don't miss out on your fishing time. Now watch how this works. You simply get your mono, your leader. And all you do is start by tying a double granny. So one, two, and you've created a nice little granny knot there. Now you pull it up, but don't pull it too tight. You just want it to form that figure eight pattern that it's done there. Now if you have a look, what I've actually done is create a little boat. Now you don't want the boat sitting up this way, you want the boat sitting like that because that is how a boat shape would actually float in the water. Once you've got it in the right position, you grab your braid and you literally go up through one hole and then back down through the other and you pull that braid through so you've got enough to work with. Now, a bit of lube, pull this nice and tight. Pull it up tight so we've locked that over our braid. Now, all about taking your time. The key to any good knot is to always be in control. So you can actually take one hand off, have a look and keep working. So once you've pulled it up tight, you just hold the braid over your finger like that, make a bit of a loop, and then start working the braid down the mono. I like to go about six or seven times, but it does depend on the thickness of the braid and the leader. So I'm literally working away from a knot, done that about six or seven times, and now you've got to go back in the other direction. So I can literally pinch that there. You'll see I've still got that beautiful loop, and I go back about three times towards that little hole. And once I get down towards there, it is simply a matter of poking it up through that, and a little lubrication, that should simply pull up nice and tight. So I now pull the braid away from the mono, and you'll see it's coming up just beautifully, and locking off, I give that a nice tight pull. That is a beautiful knot. It's called the Slim Beauty because it's slim. It goes through your guides really well and allows fantastic casts. And of course, beauty, because it's an absolute beauty of a knot. Now all you gotta do is cut these tags. So mono first, I can go quite tight on that one. And then the braid, I can leave a little bit on the braid, doesn't hurt too much, but I'll go pretty close. That's done too. And there, you have one of the best knots for joining braid to mono. As I said earlier, yes, there are knots that are a little bit stronger, but they take about 10 times longer to tie. And at the end of the day, if your hook, lure or bait ain't in the water, you ain't catching fish.